Hey guys, so for this part of the tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating the main menu and the footer and the footer menu for our Shopify website. So the main menu, usually called the hamburger menu, is usually those three lines at the top of our online store where you click and you get the main menu at the store of the store. And then when you go uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the store, what you're going to see there is what we call the footer menu or the footer section of the store the footer section it usually has um things like your 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 policy pages like your terms of service your privacy policy and everything else in between while your main menu section will have everything from your collections to let's say your refund policy your contact us and everything else that you need remember that before you get started building the main menu sections of your store you should be already done with the components of the online store by components i'm referring to things like all the pages that are needed on your store should have been created if you're gonna have any collections on your main menu you should start by creating them first if you're gonna add any products to the menu section or the footer section of your uh, main menus you should start by creating those too so everything that needs to be added on the main menu section of our store needs to be created first before it is actually placed on the menu sections so let's go ahead and jump into um, the, the 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 creation of the main menu and the footer menu so as you can see uh, that the main menu or, or, or um, the main menu section if you rather is not available on the left hand side of our Shopify menu so however I do know where to find it it's under online store and then when you click on online store you go under navigation because it is basically navigation of your website when you click on navigation guys this is what you're gonna get you're gonna see that there's gonna be a footer menu which is the menu at the bottom and then this is gonna be the main menu which is the menu at the top so let's start by creating the footer menu so like I said on the footer menu we'll have things like your policy pages this would be your return refund policy your privacy policy your shipping policy your terms of service and everything else in between so in order to add all of those things here remember again that you need to have created these things if you're gonna add them on here so we click on add menu item this is what we're gonna get when we click on add menu item on the right hand side of our screen we have the name um, as you can see here we have the name we're not gonna write anything on the name but rather we're gonna come to search or paste a link we're gonna click on it and then it's gonna give us these sections as you can see here so what do we want to add we want to add the policy pages like I said so we're gonna come all the way down and then we're gonna click on the policies and again we have created these policies before they were available here. That is why they are available now. So we're gonna click on the first policy and then we didn't write the name, we didn't do anything. And then we're gonna come all the way down, bottom right hand side, and then we're gonna click on add. And then we have added that to the footer menu. We're gonna click on add menu item again, do the same thing, click on the bottom one. And then we're gonna go all the way down to policies and then we're gonna add the second one, which is the refund policy. And then we're basically gonna do the same for the rest of the policies. <clears throat> And then when we are basically done, what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna click on save and voila guys, we have basically created the footer menu section for our online store. Now you don't necessarily have to add the only things that I've added. You can add literally anything on the footer section of your store. For example, if you had a sizing chart, I would highly recommend that you put it there. Let's say you had a vision and mission page, I would highly recommend that you put it there. What about a... Um, any type of page that you want to create on a store, let's say you have terms and conditions for a competition that you are writing, you can put it on the footer menu section of your store. Now let's go to the main menu section, which is the main menu uh, button at the top. Again, we're going to click on it. 
so this is what we're gonna get so i wouldn't want mine to be like this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete the ones that i don't want to be here so i'm gonna delete them and now it only has home now the first thing i want to add on the main menu section is an about us page so i have um again created the about us page before i added it here right uh, so we're going to click on search or paste the link and then we're going to go to pages because this is not policies it's one of the pages that we created earlier on in the tutorial so we're going to click on pages and then we're going to add the about us section and then what we're going to add some more of we're going to add the collections that we created earlier on as well so we're going to click on add it's basically the same thing that we were doing for the footer menu add menu item click on the search or paste link um, go to collections because we're adding collections right and then um, we do the same thing for the last collection uh, that we created as well um, sneakers and then now what we're going to do is I'm going to add the frequently asked questions page again I created this first before it could appear here I'm going to do this. <sighs> going to come to pages. Here's pages. Um, it looks like we didn't create... Um, So now we're going to add the frequently asked questions page and we're going to come to pages. Uh, when you come to pages, again, we created these before they were added here. So we are going to click on the frequently asked questions page. We're going to click on add and then we're going to do the same thing for the refund uh, policy page. We're going to come to policies. Here's the refund policy. And then we want to add the shipping policy which is under the policies as well. Um, and then last but not least, we want to add the um, contact us page. And then we're basically done with how to create, um, uh, with how to create uh, navigation or main menu sections for our store after that you're basically done and when you go onto your online store and view your online store you'll see that when you click on the main menu sections they will have these two that we just created here